Can we fight it? <gasps> it's doing like a death roll on me. All right, let's try that again. Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to the Modern Minecraft series. As you can see, I'm looking a little bit different and that's because I'm wearing an armor that's made out of Kunzite. This stuff's actually a little bit better than iron armor, I believe, and is one of the many kind of gems and jewels that we can make gear out of, but obviously pink is very my vibe, so I really wanted to go with it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, uh, this is my second time trying to record this. The thing is, I kind of started recording, I think I got about 10 minutes in before realizing I didn't actually press record. So <laughs> here we go again. Today's focus is going to be on working on a sort of storage system for us because I think it'll be a good idea to be able to have all of the materials a lot easier to find than having to just kind of go through all these chests. And this mod pack actually has a fun mod called Storage Drawers. We've got another one here called Refined Storage. I have no idea how that works. I'll have to look into it. Or let me know in the comments if you've played with a Refined Storage mod before and how useful you found it too. Uh, maybe we can look into it later perhaps, but for the Storage Drawers, each individual drawer holds one specific item and it can hold loads of stacks of said item. So it's really easy to find exactly what you need and eventually we can get upgrades that we can literally just right click and deposit everything that's already got a drawer. So um, it does make it easier and the base drawers start off like with, so if you just wanted a drawer that's like a one by one, where is it gone? There it is. It'll hold 32 stacks of an item. Or if you want a one by two, it would hold 16. And then the two by two will hold eight stacks, but they are upgradable. So you can upgrade it up to 32 times of its base value. So you can store a lot in these drawers once they're fully upgraded. So before I realized I hadn't actually started recording, I made a whole bunch of the one by two drawers because I think that they are gonna be a good size for what we need, especially once they're upgraded. And I started a little wall over here. So I haven't put anything in them yet because I haven't decided exactly where I wanna put anything yet. But what I'm doing now is going and cutting down this particular wall because I would like each opposite wall to have these drawers on it. There's still going to be a need for some chests because some of the things like the crops, for example, there's so many different ones. Like I've got loads in here, but this is like barely scratching the surface of what's available. And maybe we'll have a separate area for it later. But for now, I think these are better off in chests. You might notice as well, just in general, the base and stuff is kind of a little different well actually first of all we have a base um this is what we worked on during the live stream on saturday if you want to catch up with what happened i'll make sure i've got the playlist linked in the description and probably on a card as well but we started spending some time doing a bit of resource gathering so we did our first little mining expedition that's actually where this staircase leads to and then i decided on having the base underground because it just meant that i didn't have a building that i would have spent time building and then have to knock down because obviously the starter base that i was going to go with was never going to be in the final expanded map wow did i really make the perfect amount of drawers oh my god that is so satisfying <laughs> i can't believe i did that oh my god that makes me so happy but yeah um, I spent a little bit more time off camera doing a little bit more mining and here's everything I managed to gather, obviously some of it from the stream too. A lot of different gems and jewels and such, loads of coal, a fair amount of iron, let's put that iron back. And then the rest of the time I also spent trying to gather some wood. We're going to be needing a lot of it to build with and I'm still kind of short on spruce, but here's kind of what I got up to. So spruce forest looks exactly the same. Um, I've also got this pig farm that I've started, I wonder if I've got any carrots ready, I do, okay. I needed a good supply of like highly filling food and cooked meat seems to be one of the ways to go at least to begin with before we get into the actual like recipe cooking and such. I've got a little start of a sugarcane farm going down there and then over here this all used to be just field so I've started planting some trees and such that we can chop down and that's where I've been getting all my wood from but I thought I'd do that off camera because I don't think you guys want to watch me literally just chop trees down all day <laughs> but I probably did it for like several in game days I, I did it for like i was on here for a good few hours yesterday literally just straight gathering resources so a bit of mining and then just chopping so now what i can do is transfer all of these stacks of cobble there's probably too many of them to fit in one of the drawers for now and put them in there so if i shift and right click is it shift and right click no it's not it's spam the heck out of right click and i think i've got it pretty much full for now if i shift and right click on it i can view the amount that i've fit in there so what would it take to upgrade? I need a storage template, some obsidian, which is relatively easy to get now, and some sticks. And for the storage template, we need some drawers and some sticks, and they give us four. So um, usually what I do here is I go with the cheapest ones to make. So if I go with the oak one by ones, or even the dark oak one by ones, I've got so much dark oak wood. So what I wanna do is make a few chests. So if I start with maybe 
16 chests. What's quite nice about this mod pack is we've got the shortcut to craft chests without having to turn them into planks first. So we've got 16 chests there and then I need to make a load of slabs. So maybe that's too many. Maybe this many and then if I go with where are the dark oak ones? Dark oak half drawers. We can make 10 of them. So now I just need a whole bunch of sticks which I've got a lot of from chopping all those trees down yesterday. And then we want to make as many templates as we can. So I've got 40 of them here. We now need to go and get some obsidian. I'm trying to think if I can remember exactly where my little lava pool that had obsidian in it was. And I think it's a couple of rows down here. Might have been this one. I hope it was this one. Yes, it was. Here it is. My god, mining obsidian takes so long. I cannot wait to have enchanted tools. I have got enough obsidian to make the enchanting table and the nether portal, but that's something we'll get to later because obviously I need a good supply of books and such. I think I need to go hunting for cows at some point, so I've got a little leather farm. But that's going to be a little bit of time. Oh, I just accidentally stopped breaking the block. That's so annoying. So I think if I start with grabbing six blocks of obsidian, that then gives me enough to make three upgrades and then I can put my most abundant materials in those particular drawers. Eventually they'll all have upgrades, but that's probably something I'll grind for off camera. Okay, so we started with the first upgrade. I can make three of those. And what would the second one take? It's iron. Okay, that's good. Good to know. So I'm going to start with adding it to the first one. I think I have to shift click without the upgrade in my hand. I can't remember how I did this. Or does it have to be an empty hand? Yes, it does. Okay, so it has to be an empty hand that you do that with. And actually, you can add quite a lot of upgrades here. So I'm going to add one of these to the cobblestone one. And then I can go ahead and hit right click until I've got as many in there as I can then we grab the next slot and it's actually full again so I'm gonna go ahead and add a second one of those upgrades in there and I should be able to put more in there we go and eventually what I'd quite like to get is the quantify key so that will show me how much is actually in the drawer I can also see at the top with the extra information of how much is in there so if you look at the top of the screen it says I've got 36 stacks of cobblestone plus six individual blocks but obviously we can just see the number if I had the quantify key. So to make that, I need a draw key and a book and quill. So the draw key, basically it locks the drawer so you can't like change what's in them. I also need a book and quill and I don't think I have the items I need for that. Um, I actually might. So we make some paper, we make a book. Wait, how do I make a book and quill again? Can I just add the feather to the book or do I have to do it at the same time? Oh, you need an ink sack as well? I don't have that. All right, maybe I'll have to go and get an ink sack. I wonder if there's any uh, squids outside. Let's have a look. I feel like they're not exactly the rarest of creatures. So I'm probably not going to find them in the ocean, am I? I need to go find the river. I spy a squid. Oh my god, we got three ink sacks from that? I'll take it. Not sure what's going on with this kind of glitchy little block area down here, but I'm just going to pretend I don't see it for now. All right, so we made a book and then the book and quill. There we go. And then I think I need some gold for the key. Where's my gold? There it is. So starting with the drawer key, I need a nugget, two gold bars, and a template. Ooh, I completely forgot about all this iron that I had in here. And some gold. Is that all of it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So there's our drawer key, and then for the quantify key, we need the book and quill and the drawer key. So we'll make one of those. I think I'm going to make a second drawer key as well. Just means we've got one to lock and one to add the quantity. So now if I go ahead and click the quantify key on there, we can see we've got 2,310 cobblestone in that drawer there. It's a really useful tool. Obviously, tools and stuff, those will stay in chests as well, but anything that we're going to have loads of, like, uh, materials, then those will go in the drawers. I think I'm actually going to cook up the food that I got from the uh, river just there too. And then let's go ahead and add what we can to the drawers here. So, actually, I want to start with the chest that had all the, like, stone-related stuff in it. Let's keep it all together. So if we now go with... What is my next abundant block? Probably andesite. We'll go with the andesite under there. We'll put the diorite underneath it. We've got the granite here and then the gravel. Then maybe under that will probably be dirt. I think that would be kind of a good fit. Probably should have kept the quantify key on me because now I can actually uh, turn on all the quantities. Maybe I will do that for all of them in advance. I think I can do that first and then it should work. Now we're onto the wood. So I think what I'll do is I might have like a column for each type of wood thing. So I start with birch over here and we start with the logs at the top. I don't have any planks so what I might do is just take a couple out, make them into planks and then I can stick them in the drawer so that there's a space for them. We've got the acacia wood up here, maybe I don't do that for all of them just because it's going to take so long. We'll do the dark oak, do I have any dark oak planks? Yes I do. And then we've got the oak wood, oak planks, the spruce logs and the spruce planks. 
And then you see like here I've got stairs and such so maybe I'll put the stairs in this one here and then the fences can go in the one below. Maybe they'll go down here because maybe this one should be slabs. There we go, it's all nice and organised, it's going to be so much easier to find everything over time. I'm not sure what to do about like stone related blocks that have crafted things, I think for now I'm just going to keep them in a random chest with some other materials because not all of them I feel like are worth having a like individual drawer for, there's just not enough of them. I think these have got some decorative bits in it. And obviously all the decorative and cooking bits I can't really exactly make a drawer for so here's all the cooking tools that we made in the last stream. I haven't actually used any of them yet but we will get there. What do these fairy lights do? Oh wait oh I think I meant to put them in the ceiling. <laughs> so if I wanted this light like up here. Okay that's adorable. I'm gonna leave that as is. All my other little decorative bits can go in this chest though. It does also just make our entrancey area a little bit more open. Maybe the sapling should also have a little section too, so oak, spruce, birch, and acacia. And I'll probably just put them all at the bottom. There we go, and now I know where to find them in terms of like which wood they are. I could probably also start doing some of the like minerals and such, so like I've got so much coal, iron. Maybe the gems can stay in a chest, redstone can definitely go in a drawer. But I start with the coal up there and I need the quantify key again, where is it? I've just done half of them for now because I haven't uh Obviously got enough stuff to fill all of them. Got our coal, our iron, our gold, some lapis. Redstone blocks will go in one and then I'm going to put redstone dust in the other. Just so I've got the option of both if I need it. And then diamonds can go in the bottom too because they're kind of easy to see down here. I think sticks is another one that would be good to have a drawer for. And I think for the most part that's what we're going to bother with the drawers for. And eventually over time we will fill all of them up. But it just means at this point that I can pick up anything I want and find it really easily. I think my next mission should be to find some cows so we can get a leather farm, but I'm noticing it's about to be night time. Let's solve that real quick. I do have my sleeping bag, I suppose I could just use that. But what I'm hoping is I won't have to venture too far out to find cows. The great thing is though, even if we do have to come a distance- oh there's chickens! I should probably pick those up shouldn't I? So we got the capture ones in the stream and all you have to do is right click them to pick them up. Oops, come in. There you go. And you can come with me too. I don't know why they used a zombie as the uh, icon for it, but I think it just proves that you can actually pick up zombies if you really want to. And I think for now I will just put them all in one pen. And then right click to release them. There we go. Anything that's going to come out of these eggs? Damn it, I've just stuck a torch in there. Ah! Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit the pig. I'm so sorry. I always forget that I should probably put torches around my mob farm. I don't really want anything spawning in there. <laughs> Did I say mob farm? I meant uh, animal farm. Okay, minor distraction over with. Let's go find some cows. Oh my god, are those crocodiles? That is running straight for me. Uh. Uh. We fight it. <gasps> Wait, what? Why? <laughs> Let me off! Get off! He's doing like a death roll on me. I'm trying to eat to not die. Will you die? I'm gonna die before it. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. Oh my god, what the heck? <gasps> oh my god, that was terrifying. Crocodile scoot. Crocodile egg? I don't want to hatch another one of them things. That was rough. Okay. I did not know those were a thing. I'm kind of terrified. I really hope there's a cow soon. I want to go back to the safety of my cave. Oh my god, where are all the cows? I see a boar over there terrorizing everything. I'm just going to try and keep my distance. Okay, well, we got no cows, but we have some horses. Okay, well, I also found no cows, but I found a village. Let's see if they've got anything good we can take with us. I'm actually going to mark it on my map because I might be able to get some villagers from here. They can become our NPCs later on. Oh, there's a librarian, so that means there are books in here. I can come back for these later. <gasps> there's a chest with stuff. Can't not loot everything, can I? <gasps> there are cows. I'm going to steal some of these cows. One of you. Oops, one of you. And one of you. Thank you for your cows. This is actually a really big village. And if I wanted to as well, I could take the hay bales with me. Obviously wheat is used in a fair amount of recipes, but also I could just make bread with it and bread's actually a decent food source of this and I've kind of run out of it. Oh, not anymore. Okay, that's a boar. That boar is running right at me. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I manage it. I, I got it. I got it. Everything's fine. Oh my god. Let's get some bread in us. Actually get some healing going. And you know what? I think I actually will take a few hay bales with me because then I can use those to start breeding the cows. I could also take some of the wheat that's ready as well. We might as well. Even if it is only a little bit. I was hoping to try and make it back before it turned nighttime, but I don't think I'm going to manage it. I might have to sleep out in the wild. Yeah, let's not die. 
I'm mainly just praying at this point I don't run into those crocodiles again because there was definitely another one there and I don't know what to do with this egg. All right, let's set them free. There's one cow and two cows. Would you like some wheat? I need you to multiply. Let's plant some tomatoes as well because why not? I probably should go ahead and harvest the stuff that I've already got. And the thing that I love, I think it's the Pam's Harvest Craft mod that does this, but you can just right click on a crop and it will take out the sort of final fruit or vegetable or whatever or whatever you're growing, but you don't have to replant it. It just goes back to its like young, freshly planted state. So much easier. So let's now deposit everything that we found earlier. And then obviously we discussed something on the stream. So obviously the last thing I said on the last video was that I wanted to make like the farmer's farm first and start with there because obviously that could have been our base but then I figured out looking on the map probably the best approach for us to take is if we were to start with woody shop down here and then we can expand upwards it just gives us a little bit um more of an easier time when it comes to how big the buildings need to be because obviously what they look like on the map and even in the game is different to what they look like on the inside so on the inside a lot of these buildings are actually a fair amount bigger than the outside would have them seem in the game so I want to be able to build them with all their rooms and everything. So if I start with Woolly Shop and be able to expand backwards, I'm going to have to like chop off and make this beach a lot straighter. But I'm going to put a picture of the outside of Woolly Shop on the screen. And you'll notice that in the roof parts, there are some red kind of planks of wood. And obviously in the nether update, we got those different types of wood in the nether. So I'm going to need to go there soon. The good thing is on the map, I can see that there's actually a ruined portal over here. So we might be able to restore it. And I think that's what we're going to go and do. So I need a flint. I need one piece of iron. Let's make our flint and steel. And then I'm going to bring all the obsidian with us. Uh, did I put it in a chest? Yeah, I did. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to need all of this. Some of this is going to be for an enchanting table as well. I kind of want to go and restore the portal at least. And maybe we'll have a look what our nether swarm is going to look like. I'll put it back on the screen again. But the other thing I'm noticing is that the outside also has this kind of like, not red red, but red-ish tone. And I think that looks to me a lot like what jungle wood would look like. So I think that might be a good idea for us to find and that is what I'm going to do in the stream. So if you want to hang out for some jungle adventuring, it's definitely worth coming to say hi in the stream. And it looks like there's a chest out here as well. Ooh, gold block. Ah, I forgot about the magma blocks. <laughs> right, let's check the chest first. We've got a fair bit of armor. We've got a flint and steel, so I didn't need to make one. We've got glistering melon, gold horse armor, iron nuggets, and a couple more pieces of obsidian. This is actually kind of a decent portal to be fair. At least we can use the obsidian now for more draw upgrades. I'm going to take this piece with me. And we can't leave the gold block behind either. I did not mean to break that nether rack there. That's gross. And let's turn that portal on and have a look. So obviously this... Ah, it's crimson wood. That's the word. The crimson wood will have a good place on the roof of Woolly Shop. And then I think the rest of the roof would look good in um, jungle wood if we're going to match what the image shows. So see some gold or there's some lava falling that's probably not a good thing i probably should have brought some blocks with me uh 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 try to think fast but it's not going very quick oh no well that's not ideal i'm so glad i spotted that when i did because that would have been really bad i'm gonna go try and carefully fix this situation i do wish i brought an iron pickaxe with me because i feel like i'm kind of wasting my only diamond one at the moment so if we go in with something like this oh that's not good I messed that up. No, we just got one block that needs filling in here that I can't quite reach. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god, that actually scared me. We stick you there. We'll go get another one. I wish I could stop burning. It's alright, bread fixes everything. It's fine. Everything's fine. So now I should be able to stick this in that hole. There we go. Oh, that that was a mistake. Oh no, I just realized another one's fallen. Uh this is really not the best lava spawn, is it? What a pain. Alright, well I suppose we better fix that too. All right, well, hopefully now we don't have to burn ourselves. I know there's a piece of gold all behind one of those blocks, but I'm not too fussed about that right now. There's plenty of gold to go around. Oh, look, zombie pigmen. Wait, hang on a minute. Is this a room port from the inside? Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, take the stuff from the chest here. Ooh, there's gold. More gold armor. We've got so much of the stuff. And looking on the map here, I can see that there's a warped forest down in the southwest direction. So that's kind of what we want to eventually be aiming for. Don't know if I'm ready for that right now, though. That's kind of a drop, isn't it? I mean, looking at our spawn, it's kind of not the most ideal place because we're spawning in this weird sort of like bridgy cavey situation. I'm probably going to need to build some ladders or something. Maybe once we've got some better stuff is when we'll go adventuring in the nether because I don't want to get killed by like a random hoglin or something. And okay, it's nighttime. Of course it is. Great thing about the sleeping bag is we can just plop it down anywhere and get some sleep and then we are awake again. Oh, look, a bear. 
And I love the fact that I don't have to break the sleeping bag myself because we all know that I'm going to forget it somewhere if we did that. All right, so now that we're expanding our animal farm a little bit, I think what I'm going to do is go and now extend the little fenced in area that we have. I need to make sure that I'm really expanding on all that food and obviously the source of leather as well because we need to make an enchanting setup and have that all sorted out. So what do I need from here? I need wheat. Where's my wheat? There it is. Wheat and carrots. I'm not worried about the chickens because they'll just eventually lay eggs. So that's going to be fine. But if I make it like another three big, that's a little bit better. And eventually I'd like to have them all separated out, but that's kind of not my priority right now. Make some more cows and pigs. And then grab all of our sugar cane. We can start making some paper. Oh, I left some in the water. Wow, I'm constantly hungry on this. I can't believe it. I feel like I'm just eating non-stop. Actually, I'm noticing on here there's another recipe for the books and it's for canvas as well. So how do I make canvas? You can use straw from a farmer's delight and straw comes from a straw bale. Yeah, sure. But like, how do I grow it? Maybe it's something called straw seeds. Oh, it said using a knife on grassy plants will occasionally yield straw, so I can literally just get it by cutting down all the grass. I wonder if I should have a look into the knife then. Are these all the farmer's delight ones? Aquaculture. Oh, there we go. So I can make a flint knife, an iron one, a diamond one, netherite and gold. I think I'm going to go and make an iron one. So it's literally just a stick and one iron ingot. That's pretty easy. And that goes for like wild grass, but also grassy plants, things like hay and such. So if I grab stick where have i done what have i done with my sticks there's one and one iron bar and now i have a knife so let's go test that out Ooh, hunt and gather so you can get them from animals as well i wonder what happens if we use a knife to kill an animal uh i wonder if it only works in the minecraft ones do i kill the pheasant did i get a whole extra bird out of that pheasant how does that work <laughs> that's quite funny so now if i break ah so breaking all these grassy bits with the knife you get a chance of getting straw and I imagine that the sh chance is going to be higher with a better tea at all so eventually maybe it would be good to make a diamond knife and even maybe a netherite one eventually so it's mainly the long grass it seems I wonder if can the short grass give you straw oh it can give you straw okay we're learning together so let's have a look if this guarantees it from long grass no it doesn't okay so it's just a kind of random chance for anything that's sort of grassy so it would almost definitely be worth our while actually to plant quite a lot more wheat. So first of all, let's make some paper. I kind of want to know if there's other recipes for paper too. So we can use... Wait, is that two of any crop? That's weird. Wait, so can I use like... Is it anything? I'm confused. I'm curious. Okay, it's not everything. It's only certain crops. That, that would make sense. I was like, can I just make paper out of grapes? That would have been really funny. So I made a whole bunch of paper here and then I've got, uh, how much is leather do we have? We've got five. We can make another five books and then I can make some canvas out of this straw, but I think I can only make, oh no, that's a bale. Oh, I only need four. Okay. So we can make quite a few more books. Actually, we can make nine books. There's a few and there's a few. Having a much easier renewable source of a book binder is actually pretty good. That does only give us enough for three bookshelves though. So this is going to take some time. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and make the enchanting table first. I think I just need a couple of diamonds now, don't I? Oh, and I didn't realise the backpacks were actually upgradable. What does that do? I'm getting so distracted. Right, book, books and enchanting table and bookshelf. Let's do that first. So there's my enchanting table. And then I've only got enough for two bookshelves, so maybe I wait on that a little. Oh, there's a plain book there, so I've got enough for three. I could go back and uh, pick up the bookshelves from the village over there, but I kind of feel mean. Do I make them as dark oak? I think I should, right? That'd be cool. So for now, I'm just going to stick it in my like blocks chest, but we need a fair few more of those. It's going to take us a little bit of time. Oh, I just made a hoe and I've already got it on me. Oh dear. Oh well, let's get some sleep and then I'll go and uh, plant my next set of crops. All right, so I'm going to first start with these cotton seeds that I, for some reason, hadn't planted from the stream. And then all of these wheat seeds, I think, will be the priority because first of all, we can make bread, but also it's food for the cows and obviously a source of straw. Oh, I ran out of seeds. I think I will go ahead and cut down enough to make... The rest of the field be full. Can you imagine just mowing your lawn with a little hunting knife? That would be so annoying. There we go. And I can use the rest of the seeds to multiply the chickens. There you go. Actually, you know what? No, I will go knit the books from the village because I don't think they're going to miss them. I mean, the librarians still have their little um, book stand anyway, so it's going to be fine. I should probably also check the trades that they've got. Eventually, I do need to be trying to get a mending book or several of them anyway, which reminds me, I did meant to mention as well. I've got this other point on my map as a waypoint, this little blue point here. Whilst I was caving yesterday, I actually found a skeleton spawner, so that's going to be a good little XP farm, but 
Hopefully we'll have an easier way to find it eventually. There are waystones in this mod pack. I just haven't actually acquired one yet or made one. But in the farming crossing mod pack, you can just make them with a block of emerald, I think it is. So that'll give us an easy way to teleport between places, essentially. So let's grab all of these. And I think there was another one of these areas over there somewhere. Or building, I should say. Here it is. And what I'm going to do is bring this lectern. That is the name for it. God, you can tell it's been a while since I played Minecraft. I'm going to bring this lectern to the other little library and put it in there so that we've got any librarian villagers are together. So what have you got? Fire protection for? Wow. Uh, maybe we should break and look at your trades now. Paper? No. Where are you going, sir? Is it that time of day already? Oh, now he's becoming a farmer. Absolutely not. Sir, do you mind? Go back to your little library room. Probably going to take one of these composters with me, actually. It would save me making one myself. Come on, give me mending. Luck of cheap repairing. I don't even know what that does. I mean, it probably, as the name would suggest, make repairing cheaper, but that's not really what I uh, want right now. Where's he gone now? Dude. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I could trap him in the house, but that would be kind of feeling mean. I didn't think to bring any emeralds or anything with me to, like, lock in trades. I don't want to accidentally hit you, sir. This fella's just so speedy. He just kind of disappears. Hello? Where are you going? Do not pick up another job, I swear. No, it's the meeting time of day, that's why. I might just go ahead and grab any cows that are here. Ooh, two leather from this? Wait, what happens if I use the knife? Did I get any extra from that? No, I didn't. Did I get any extra meat, though? I don't know. Oh, I got a lot more leather from that one. I got three from it, okay. So we can make another six books. We're actually on our way to being roughly at what we need. Well, I need to stop getting distracted and actually go back and craft these bookcases and stuff. <laughs> it's so difficult because, like, eventually all these things do need to be done. It's just the, like, when part and in what order. Since I've already got a pig farm going at home, I will go ahead and get rid of the ones that are here. I'm curious to know, actually, if horses do drop anything. What did I just get? Ooh, ham! Oh my god, I got ham! I just want to know what everything gives. Okay, horses do give leather. I don't really want to be slaying horses, though, so I'll leave them alone. <laughs> I might as well be somewhat productive on the way home and get as much straw as I can. So let's see how many more books I can make now. We've got those and those. And then Dark Oak bookcases. We'll make as many of those as we can. We can make another seven. What I think I'm going to do is set up my little enchanting area in this little section down here. Where's my pickaxe? I'm going to use an iron one and put my diamond one away. I don't kind of want to waste it. I do have some other diamonds and obviously I can mine for more too. But that's literally not what I want to be doing right now. And for now, I'm not going to have anything too crazy down here. It's just going to be like a little enchanting nook. All right, so we start with these three. I'm going to go ahead and put some blocks in these corners, actually, because I kind of don't want anything spawning in the corners where I'm not going to be putting bookcases, at least for now. Two over here and two over here. I'm definitely some bookcases short, but we'll get there. So if I put my tool in there, yeah, we got it to level 20 at the moment. So eventually what I need to do is probably get like another two. I think it's eight more bookcases I potentially need. And then we can start actually enchanting our stuff. Oh wait, I've got loads more books on me. I didn't think I did. Uh, can't believe I didn't notice that. Let's make another... Okay, we've got another four. So we're like halfway there. Or halfway of what's remaining at least. So if I put two on each side for now, does that bring us any closer to what we need? 28. Okay, that is very close. Oh my god, I completely forgot that I had another... What's going on down there? I think there was some fish fighting. <laughs> I completely forgot I had another sugar cane farm out here. So let's go ahead and grab that. I was just using my knife because I was curious to see if this would drop straw as well, but it kind of makes sense that it doesn't. Oh well, it was worth a try. At the end of the day, if I want more grass, eventually I can just bone meal the ground. So there's the two bookcases that I need. Let's see if that gets us where we need to be. It does. Okay, so eventually I will go ahead and fill in just to make it look a little better. But for now, it's functional. So if I take my diamond pickaxe and some lapis, let's have a look what we can get enchantments wise. Where is my lapis? Oh, it's here. And if I don't get what I want, I do have enough to get kind of a couple of attempts, even if I end up just like enchanting some armor instead. So let's go ahead and put my diamond pick in there. I'm breaking three and then we're not sure what the other enchantment is. So what happens if I put like my boots in there? Death Strider, that can be useful. Thorns too on the chest plate, not really too fussed about. I'm breaking on the leggings and aqua affinity. Ooh, I want that. Um, Let's grab the aqua affinity. So we've got respiration three as well. So that's a very good roll on that. Do I risk the pickaxe? I don't know. Or do I go ahead and do the boots first? Maybe the chest? I mean, they all seem to be showing I'm breaking. Oh, protection four on the leggings. Let's go with those. And then on the pickaxe. All right, I'm just going to take my chances. 
Efficiency four on breaking three. So if I get a fortune book, then that would be the ideal thing. But at least now it's going to last longer. And hey, we're half shiny. I am going to save it for now. I think I'm going to wait until I can get um fortune on it. But hey, that's something really significant that we did today. The stream which should be on this Saturday, and actually tomorrow if you're watching it on the day it comes out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use nature's compass to try and find a jungle biome so we can get some jungle wood going. I think there's going to be quite a few buildings that actually kind of want to use that. And then I'd like to work on reshaping the beach so that we can start building Willy shop and actually make a start on our first ever build. I'm probably not going to do the first build like on the stream, it'll probably be an episode, but finding the jungle and what that has to offer with the creatures and stuff in this mod pack is going to be fun. And what I also like to do during the streams as well is cover some of the quests. So we've got like a few different ones here on the starter page, but also now if I open this sidebar, we've got a whole bunch of other categories here. What's this prize bundle? Brown bundle. I just got overexcited and started reading it then. No, I'm going to wait for the stream. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do these little questy bits on the stream and explore part of the mod pack. So maybe we keep the episodes more towards working directly towards building uh, the Stardew Expanded World. Obviously, things like today with the storage system and getting our tools enchanted, that stuff is definitely needed for obviously like building because if I know where everything is, I can build a lot more efficiently and better tools means getting the resources a lot faster. So um, I can actually make progress a lot quicker. But anyway. If you're enjoying the series so far, please do hit the like button and thank you again for all the love on the first episode. I was extremely surprised and grateful at the reception that it got. If you want to know when I'm live, make sure you do turn your notifications on. It'll let you know when it's time to come and hang out. Thank you so much to my channel members and I will see you in the next video. Bye!